to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday and that means it's time for a mail call. I've got a little different uh, mail call today. I got a package in from Tim Campbell. Um, he's got a lot of listings up on one of the uh, collector pages on Facebook and he's just been a really nice guy, really great to deal with. And uh, Tim put a post up last week and said, I've got kind of an interesting lot. And it was all good stuff and stuff that I can use. So um, I didn't even dicker with him on the price. Uh, he, he had a really reasonable price on this. And I'm really excited to get this. But um, don't want to disappoint you all. There are no cars in this box. Um, but I, I think you'll enjoy this anyway. So this is the awesome little care package that I got from Tim. Um, I'm not really sure where it came from or how he came across it, but uh, I want to show you what I got here because I think this is just too cool. So I've got a original ladder. This is the white ladder. I think this is for the Meriwether fire engine. It's got that little kink in it. Looks like it was uh, probably on somebody's fire engine for a long time. Um, I've got a few of these uh, and I, I come across them fairly often and they're always missing the ladder. So to have a replacement ladder, I was pretty excited about that. Um, it's got a little boat. Uh, this is actually for a model that I think you've seen on the channel before. Um, I have Motorcycle. I have a mint original inbox copy of the number 45 Ford Corsair. Yes, there is Mac. And this has the original boat still on the sprue. Um, this is one of the best, nicest copies of a, a car that I have in my collection. And um, I've always really treasured this one as, as one of my top models. Um, I really, really love it. But I've got a whole bunch more of these that are not mint in box. Um, and I actually came across a really, really nice copy of this car. And it was missing the boat in the rack from the top. So this will serve as a nice placeholder for that car uh, until I find something better for it. Um, and you guys know me, original is always better than reproduction. So happy to come across that. What else we got in here? Um, some of these, some of these I wasn't positive are even matchbox. I'm not sure. I think these look like uh, pipes, maybe from the pipe trucks. And these could be later. These could be super fast. I'm not sure, as I don't really collect the super fast. Um, I have one of those. You have a pipe truck. You're right. I got my uh, littlest helping me out today. He's uh, he's home sick with dad. Uh, had kind of a rough morning, so this is this looks like a pickup topper. Um, again, I think that may also be super fast. And an interior. I, I believe this is for the models of yesteryear. Um, and I actually have this is the the I don't remember what it is. It's green, um, and mine is missing the interior. So uh, I was happy to find that. Um, some of these others, it looks like maybe an army jeep topper. And let's see, what else do we got? Oh, steak truck. Um, I've got a few of these loose, so I can throw that in with my other steak truck scaffolding pieces. Um, I've got a whole bunch of tires, and for those of you that collect these, you know how easy it is to lose the tires on models. And a lot of times, even when I get some really nice models in, um, I'm still short on some tires. And there's even a tractor tire in here, and these are really hard to find. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of good original tires, um, all different sizes in there. So I'm going to stick those in my little resto box and uh, be able to fill out with originals instead of reproductions. Anytime I'm short some tires on some models, so that's that's a nice find as, as well. Um, I'm not even sure what these are. These might not even be Matchbox. I think these are look like beads or 
game pieces or something, something along those lines. Um, but whatever. Um, the things that I was really excited about on this um, are these two cows here. Uh, these are the same variation in three different colors. There's there's a pair of these. There's two of them, and uh, I've got a couple. But I just recently came across a pretty nice um, cattle truck with the back. I find these often, but even when I find them in pretty good shape, these always tend to be broken. And this one's not broken. It's in really good shape. Um, still has the original lift gate, still latches and closes on there. Um, so I picked these guys up to go with the cattle truck that I just found. And uh, I've got a box restoration on that um, as well. I'll try to put the, uh, the link in. And then last but not least, and this is, this is the reason that I bought this whole entire lot. Um, I have been in the process of starting a series restoration on the race cars. I've got a whole bunch of these race cars and a lot of mine are pretty decent uh, condition, pretty decent models. You know, like this one here, we've got all the wheels. Uh, it's loose a couple of the decals there. I can get reproductions for those but it's missing the driver. And um, I got a couple of these other ones here too, the Lotus up here. Uh, again, really nice car, original decals, original wheels and tires, great shape, but it's missing the driver. And in this lot that Tim had, he had two original drivers. Now, I know I can get these reproduction, um, but for what I paid for the entire lot of goodies that I got from Tim, um, it would have cost me more than that for two drivers only, just the race car drivers only. So this one looks to be absolutely 100% complete. It's got the steering wheel and everything in there. So um, that was my, my main reason for wanting to pick up this lot was these two original drivers. So, uh, super excited to get that. Thanks so much to Tim for um, making me a really fair deal on the lot as a whole. And uh, like I said, I wanted to mix it up a little bit different. You know, mailbags, I tend to kind of do the same thing over and over and over, just opening up uh, whatever I've gotten that week. And uh, my kids love it, that's why I do it. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, with some of these other more unusual finds uh, and uh, super excited to, to get those in. I do have one other box. Uh, this was an eBay purchase this week from uh, Tim White. I think Tim was out of uh, Atlanta. And uh, I just posted a restoration video of one of these models. Um, and I've been after some original doors to be able to complete that and I actually found the doors, believe it or not. <laughs> I found original um, doors, I found a, a pair and then a single loose door as well. And when I was out there, when I was searching looking for doors, I came across this model. Um, it's a little bit different variation. It's got the uh, gray wheels and the pinned base, um, instead, or the, the riveted base instead of the cast all in one piece. Um, it's got the exact same issue that the model that I restored did. It has a crack in the glass up here. And so I'm gonna try uh, the same method that you saw in my restoration video on this crack and I think this is big enough. I'm actually gonna try to use the little syringe injector that's made with the kit and see if I can get a better result on this glass. But I like these models because they don't have to drill them and tap them uh, and just pry on the base and get those loose. Um, and with all the doors I've got coming now, I can finish all those restorations. So um, 
looking forward to that. And uh, when I do that, I will update or I'll add another video um, that links to the previous restoration um, as kind of an update uh, showing the, the last of the doors going in and then um, my second attempt at fixing the canopy glass on this. So thanks so much for joining us this Saturday. Uh, tune in next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. Jay.